Hey guys, so I've got a very interesting question from uh, one of my uh, fan subscribers uh, and he's asking me or she's asking me about the villa community. The villa community. Now, some of you who are not aware of Dubai, there is a large community of villas in Dubai. It doesn't have townhouses, which is called the villa. Okay, the villa. It's based on a Spanish theme uh, and it's called the villa and they're asking me if it's a good investment opportunity so on and so forth now i'm going to come back to answering them uh but show real first and before show real if you want to work with me there is a link on how you can reach out to me so that take action now and reach out to me and my team you'll be able to work with me show real first All right, guys, welcome back. Look, I'm going to step a little bit on the side because a lot of times people, when they come to me asking me for a question, sometimes they've got something else in their mind and I'm not a mind reader, so I don't know exactly what they're thinking, right? But I'm going to take a little bit of a leap of faith and I'm going to say that this person is potentially looking to invest in a house in the villa to live there, okay? Now, you've got to look at some of my other videos where I talk about the importance of planning, and once you've got the plan settled down, the importance of buying value for you, okay? This is super, super critical, okay? Now, if you're using or looking at the villa as an end user, then this planning definition of value for you is super important, okay? So if you're asking me, is it a good place to invest? Well, maybe it's a great place for you to live, right? So then investment kind of like takes a little bit of a backstage. Yes, you would still like to know if it's going to hold value. If you're going to be able to rent it out if you moved out of town. If you're taking a mortgage from a bank, would you be able to pay the mortgage payments if you had to rent it out? Blah, 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 blah. Let me get into it, okay? Now, to understand the community, let's go back into the past. So a little bit of a blast from the past, so a little slight small history lesson so you understand exactly where this community is coming from. This community was launched circa 2006, okay? There was a boom in Dubai and you could almost pretty much sell anything. If you launched shoeboxes houses, you would sell them. If you launched palatial palaces, you would sell them. If you sold plots of land where individuals could build their own dream house, you could sell them, okay? And this is essentially what happened. These plots of land, hundreds and hundreds, I don't know the exact number, but might be definitely more than a thousand plots of land, were sold in this community with the following terms, okay? In 2006, there was a three-year gap for handover. So they were going to build Okay, so this is no longer relevant, okay? But what I'm going to do is what was going to happen is that they were going to build this large piece of land, okay? It's actually broken up like here. The villa community has a road that goes over here. And then there is a lot of plots of lands over here, a lot of plot of land, okay? So there's phase, phase one and phase two, okay? Essentially speaking, the plots of land were sold in 2006 and there was going to be a three-year handover period, okay? And then by 2009, you had another three years to fully to build your villa, okay? So essentially speaking, if you bought a plot in 2006, you had all the way to 2012, I believe, to build it. This was the completion date, okay? So essentially speaking, you had six years, right? Which was great. Like you could build it, people could hold them, flip them, like tons of fun to be had. Oh, by the way, if you want to work with me, hit the link below, reach out to me, okay? Now, a lot of unique things happened with this area. Number one, you could build your own house with the basement, okay? The floor layout is your own. Just the outside facade, had to look the same as what Dubai properties had done, okay? Essentially speaking. Now, what happened is, right about here, 2008 came the global 
financial crisis. Ooh la la. In 2009, when I visited this community, this community, God bless the people who finally finished it. Dubai Properties did a great job to finally build the community. 2022, fast forward, it's really a good place to be living, etc., etc., etc. But what ended up happening because of the 2008 global recession, a lot of defaults. People lost, other people lost lots of money. They couldn't build the houses, forget paying the balance payments on the plot of land. So now what do you have? You have, for instance, these are all plots of lands, right? You've got one house built here. This is empty. One house built here. Then this all is empty. Then one house built here. Now, you know, not an ideal community, not an ideal situation to be in when 2012 came around and prices started going up again, okay? But, you know, still, there was an advantage to building your own basement, your own floor, your own, just a facade had to be done. But the disadvantages in 2012, which don't exist today, is, you know, if you buy this plot of land and build your house, there's a chance that this house, then this house, then this house, over the next couple of years is going to get built. By the way, the people who ended up not building by 2012, Dubai property started levying uh, penalties on them, okay? But now, fast forward to 2022, okay? The place is fully built, the, it kind of fully built, and even though the location is not prime today, it's not prime today, from a villa community perspective, you know, granted that it's not close to downtown, but all villa communities, generally speaking, with the exception of District 1 and Shoba Heartland, are farther away from downtown, okay? So from a villa community perspective, it is still central, okay? It is still central to Dubai because it will take you about 20 minutes to come to downtown Dubai, okay? So 20 minutes in a car, you will reach downtown Dubai, essentially speaking, okay? Now, here's the thing. From one perspective, it's pretty unique because no full community has ever been done like this, okay? No full community had plots sold off. But it also tells you a little bit about the lesson that Dubai learned. No other developer wanted to venture out to do a full community where plots were being sold to somebody else. The reason was because in 2012, when only a paltry, uh, like few plots were built, the rest that were not built, people weren't even paying service charges, right? So now it becomes a real mess of a situation because if you have only one plot inhabited on the entire block, you still got to put lights for everything. You still got to put, put landscapes and gardening for everything. And it goes on and on and on. I hope it makes sense to you, okay? Now, what you need to understand, what you need to understand is no other community was done like this. So, yes, there's an opportunity if you want to buy a plot of land, build a basement, build a floor but the community is not really taken off. Like it's not considered to be an ultra premium luxury community. Maybe that will change, even though there are ultra luxury premium villas in the community, okay? Which are seven to 10 million, 11 million, 12 million plus, okay? Now, from a perspective of making money in this community, who did make some money, okay? Contractors, okay? People who had their own construction companies, what they ended up doing is they ended up building, uh, they ended up taking plots, right? So they would do three plots together and they would build similar houses here. That's it. So the plot cost them two million. They spend another three million on the house or one million or two million, let's say, and they sold it for seven million. Okay, and having plots next to each other is good because your workers can work on one and the other and then the other, right? So you're not wor wor going around. Or you can use one plot uh, to store all your stuff and then do these two. The other people who made money were the investments who picked up distress units, distress plots, okay? So in 2009 or 2010 or 2011, if you wanted to make money, you just picked up something distress, okay? Last but not the least, you know, which is a great use, personal use, okay? This is a great place for personal use. You can have a great house, big house, 
a lot of land, do whatever you wish to do with the land, and ask the story. Enjoy living there. Want to work with me? There is a link at the bottom. But this gives you an idea of the villa community. Yes, it had problems. Problems were resolved. Dubai Property has done a great job. They've got a great community center now, which was a long time coming. The community center for shopping was not finished until 2016. And now the community is getting into maturity and more value is going to get added over there. But if you want to make money, this is one route. The other is to pick up a distressed plot, but it's not that easy because there's fewer plots available. The last but not the least is just buy there for personal use, right? But there is something, there is a case to be made. Like no other developer did a full large community. I think Jabal Ali, there is something by Miras, but I need to double check on this. All right, ciao for now. Reach me if you want to work with me. Bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.